Now that we have many new materials and 3D objects, let's review this powerful command. It's called Match Properties. First, you select the object that you want to change, enter, and then the object that has all the properties that you're looking for. In this case, I am looking for the material. So I want this object to pass the material to the others. Match properties. Very nice command. Now let me select this object and change its material. That way we can use it later in another part of this lesson. In Rhino 7, I want you to see the package manager. This package manager handles all the plugins that you have installed or that you want to install in your computer. And today, I want you to look for the denoiser. There are a few. If you have a MDA or NVIDIA card, you should look for this plugin and install them in your computer, even for Intel boards. So you install them and after you install it, which takes a few seconds, you have to save the model, close Rhino, and open it uh, one more time. And then the plugin will be installed. And let me show you how it works. If you render, notice that you will have the time set up on your render. You set that yourself, but you have those options on the left side. If you turn them on, notice that those dots that appear on your rendering disappear. That's a very unique option and it provides more things to you like the pause processing final passage and all these possibilities over here let's say you can change the hue the saturation and luminance while while rhino is rendering your model so this is in real time that you can change these properties. It's really nice. It's a very powerful tool and it increases the speed of your rendering. Notice that you can change many other things like the contrast and the brightness. There's the contrast so you can set it up while Rhino is rendering. And even the watermark, you can set it if you want to. And change the color and everything as well. It's really powerful. Let me close this one and expand this one a little bit. So I don't want the watermark, so I can delete it. I do want the hue and saturation, and I do want the brightness and the contrast. You can blur it if you want to. That's another unique effect. And you can blur it either in both directions or only in the horizontal or only in the ver vertical direction. So as you can see, you can save your work and I do hope you use the package manager and install these plugins for Rhino 7. 
They are really, really powerful. And I hope you share with us your renderings.